Today we're out here on the Ohio River with cat fisherman Derek Catter. Now Derek, you're taking me down below the falls of the Ohio. This is like a, a beacon for all the fish, you know what I mean? Like, hey, come and eat here, you know? And it's also protected from the bridge up, so. Yeah. So are you looking for a deeper hole? To be honest with you, I just go with what my gut tells me, you know yeah, what I mean? Okay. Most of the time I don't even go, go by the fish finder. I just, even if it doesn't show fish, you, it's not, not gonna tell you if there are or aren't there, you know what I mean? Yeah, it surely won't tell you if they're hungry. Right, exactly. Before we got here today, how, how did you catch your bait? Uh, cast net and okay. uh, skipjack I had bought from someone. Skipjack, you got some buffalo and... Chad. Chad. Yeah. A little uh, bit of everything, huh? You'll see the size of bait I use. People think I'm crazy by the size of bait I throw, but big fish eat big bait, you know yeah. what I mean? Like. <laughs> Oh, you got an interesting rig there too. This is a mad catter hook. It's a ten knot hook. It's a it's a dual action hybrid circle ho uh, circle hook. So you can set it or you can let it set itself. Okay. So uh, outside of the hook, tell me what else you've got. You got a three right. way. So I got a three way. It's not a normal three way. The the uh, swivels are looped over each other. Yeah. So the second swivel, that's where your sinker is going to go. It's going to be about a foot leader, right? Gotcha. Okay. And you got a three to four foot leader for your uh, hook line. And then this is just a, a hooker thermal tackle rattle and just a rubber tube. Okay. Like an, a fuel line or I use aerating tube, any kind of tube will work. But the key is this, this bead up top has to be hard. Can't be soft, like this one's soft to protect this hook. Gotcha. But if this, if this bead's soft, then, it, then it'll just absorb that rattle spinning. Gotcha, so yeah, I gotcha. So, so you get the, better, the most action with it just like that right, right there. And this is something you, ca you came up with yourself too, isn't it? You, right. You actually call it uh, Mad Catter because your last name is... Catter. Catter. <laughs> <laughs> right. Can you trade that sinker out fast if need be? Yeah, exactly. So I got you. Push, pull that through there, like that. Pull that knot back through there, and then instead of cutting your line every time, yeah, you just it uh, saves time. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, all right. Drop it right off the back of the boat and let it spool out. Until you should feel it hit the bottom, and then you're gonna thumb it and lift it straight up, and then let line out again, and you should just f basically feel it walking back. Okay. Basically like bass fishing in reverse. Uh, yeah, I can feel that thing spinning too. Yeah, I know. On, on that braid, I bet you can. <laughs> It's a pretty it's crazy. Sens sensitive rod that I've got here. I can literally feel that thing just <laughs> twirling round and round and round. Yeah, so if you can feel that, imagine a fish hitting it. And, and sometimes I hope I don't have to imagine. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Uh-oh. Fish on. Fish on? Yep. It's not a giant, but it's, it's a, a decent good fish. good-sized fish. There we are. There we go. It's up. Got a blue. Mm. What do you think that one there weighs? Uh, seven or eight pounds. <laughs> no, maybe 10. I'm gonna guess that fish weighs 13 pounds. Right on. 14, about 15 pounds. Yeah, about 15 pounds. Pretty fish. It is a pretty fish. He hadn't been in shallow water. It doesn't look like he's got any, well, yeah, there's a spawn marks right there. Yeah. So. Yeah. Looks like it's healing up, so they're probably coming off right now. Yeah. And this is where all my fish go, right back in. Right back in the, right back Every in the one river. of them, yep. There it is. Boom. Just in case we need a part. There's the second fish one. On. Nope, no point. It's blue. There we go. Oh, little good. Takes all age classes, man. All right. This river's got to have them in there from one year old to probably 50. It's a pretty fish. I mean, the color that they get in them with that right. that blue and purple looking. I mean, of course, that's why they call it a blue. But right. uh, just such a pretty fish. Just it's the closest thing we have in Kentucky to a shark. <laughs> right. Boom. This is him too. What do you know? He got a fish on. Looks like about a four or five pounder. Can Twirling be, uh, and difficult. twisting, man. Yeah. They, uh, they know how to make themselves heavy, don't they? Right. Well, and when you're fighting the current, it doesn't help either, you know? 
go ahead and throw a little bit of uh, Asian a Asian <laughs> carp in entrails in there, and sure enough, just sweeten the pot enough to get him to strike. Mm. Bam, Good nice. Fish. Today they didn't want it moving. They wanted it set on the bottom. Right. But I'll tell you what I've learned most from being out here with you today is, uh, you know what? Fishermen can be brilliant when it comes to just using what, what they've got. You've... Right. Uh, Going back in. You've converted this boat, which is a runabout boat, to come out here and catfish. You've made most of the components and things that you use. And you know what? Where there's a will, there's a way. Right. I wish it wasn't going to be 100 degrees today. We sat here and catch more right. fish. But I appreciate it, man. Thanks for coming out with us. I definitely appreciate Thank you. it. I appreciate it.